Yeah! So I get asked all the time where I get um, my costumes, <laughs> which is Amazon. So we're gonna open this. Okay, purple top and a vest. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh. I obviously don't have this on correctly. Um, it's literally just laying on my head. Uh, so I have these extensions. It is day one. Oh my god. Look at it is 10.30, almost 10.30, and I am going to start editing. The first thing I'm going to do is do the intro. I do that first and then I make that a video, and then I put it into the timeline of the actual video um, so it doesn't take up a lot of storage because that did happen to me on Julian the Phantoms is I ran out of storage and I had to edit every individual thing individually and we can't have that happen again. I do this first then I export it and then I delete everything in the uh, library and then I put in the clips. Okay so this is what the timeline looks like before I have any editing. So now that I'm finished with the timeline I take a notebook and I write down each timestamp of each scene that I'm going to be seen in. In total, I need 59 clips. Now I'm going to take a little break because I've been sitting here at my computer for almost three hours and I'm going to chill. I have to paint my nails black. Okay, ah, oh my gosh, that looks, <laughs> that looks so creepy. So for this video, I have to do my makeup. Uh, instead of just doing concealer and mascara, I actually have to do like a full face of makeup to go with the look and I have my wig. Cause my hair is short. I don't know how to put the wig on. I don't really know what to do. And like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Oh, the sweat stains, no! Here she is. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. Okay, so this is the current setup. The green screen. And I have this light here, camera, and then this light. So now I'm just gonna go through and look over the clips that I just filmed, see if they work, see if they go with it. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Tuesday and I had therapy this morning, which is why I'm getting a later start at this. I don't know. I just looked over everything and about almost every single clip that I took yesterday works. And that is the first because I always have to refilm like a lot of things. Today I'm gonna do uh, some of the choreography. So I'm doing like the zombies do and call to the wild maybe, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know the Wheel on the Night choreography very well and I'm going to save Flesh and Bone last because there's so many different angles that I have to do and I can't do one for all yet because I don't have my jumpsuit. Oh my god, what the, oh, what is, okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, is that me?
just finished filming and I got my package. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. Today I went through all of the clips that I took and placed them where they needed to see if they worked or not and I have Literally, this is crazy. I have two clips that I have to refilm. And then I have one for all. And yesterday I got the jumpsuit finally so I can do that. And the way that it's Wednesday and I have a majority of the filming done already is insane because normally it takes me like four days. I get comments all the time about how like I'm so small and let me just show you it's very difficult to like make me the same size as whoever it is because I'm a small person this scene is very hard to do one they're coming from like an angle and I'm just standing forward hard because I'm the same height as Ariel I'm pretty sure she's 5'2 I'm 5'2 and I'm a small person so it's hard to make me the same size also i mean did that like a few seconds off that's that's great um <laughs> 10 and i'm in the living room now and I am going to continue looking over the clips I took yesterday. I didn't finish because my back started hurting really bad. I've reached the point of masking out um, objects and people. My plan is to have the behind her masking or cutting out things literally takes hours. This is gonna be hard because she's moving a lot. <laughs> I finished masking We on the Night and just a couple small like little details that you can't really see. I haven't done anything big but one thing that i really want to do with this video is have some special effects their eyes glow and i want to try to do that and we're gonna figure it out i'm following a tutorial on youtube it's friday and I did some editing yesterday. Their necklaces are glowing, and so this was kind of hard for me to figure out how to do. I don't edit using uh, After Effects or Premiere or anything to where you could do effects like this, so I kind of have to DIY it. It doesn't look the same <laughs> as the actual effects in the movie because I'm using what I have, which is Final Cut Pro. With color correction, I really wanna get into color correcting and color grading and really trying to make it look like I'm actually there. I get so many questions of, you're too pale, the lighting needs to be better. And I'm filming in my room, I'm filming in my bedroom, not a studio. Like I know that I'm bright because I'm pale and it's the lighting but I can't really do anything about it. And every time I've tried doing color correction in the past, it doesn't look good. Like it kind of makes it look worse. This was hard to mask out because it's so dark and I couldn't really see because it gets to a point where like her hair is moving and I can't tell what is hair and what is the background like behind her. That it kind of looks like chunky. Oh, like that, that right there, look how chunky that is. 
I just finished editing. This is what the timeline looks like after. The only thing that I have to do is take a photo for thumbnail, which I'm very bad at. I'm very bad at because I procrastinate doing it until Saturday and sometimes I don't even have the thumbnail done until Sunday. 